the mind-body problem, consciousness and intentionality. And thinking about the mind-body problem, there are those who would have its explanation, its resolution, with thinking of the mind as being not separate from that of the body, but actually being the brain. The structures of the brain, the functioning of the brain in some way explains every phenomena we would associate, have traditionally associated with the mind. This position is called materialism, naturalism. With it is a solution, a possible solution of the mind-body problem. But with it comes a challenge. Since there appears in our experience to be a phenomena that needs explaining, if all things that exist are physical and the mind is simply the brain, its structures, its functioning, then how do we account for something that seems to have other than physical properties? Consciousness. And with it, the ability of those creatures that have it, the conscious awareness of itself and those things around it, to make choices concerning what it's to be doing even the focusing of consciousness. So there arises with the mind-body problem in contemporary thinking of the community of inquirers known as philosophers, the problem of consciousness and intentionality. How do we count for it? There are those who are busy at work thinking about how to give this explanation or account, thinking that complex physical structures that involve processes where the structure is receiving information from around itself and information about its own functioning, feedback. There arises in the higher orders of complexities of such entities, consciousness, awareness, self-awareness. There is under development what is known as forms of artificial intelligence. With computers, there have been simulations of what it is humans do with their minds and even attempts to replicate forms of human interaction, language, understanding input and providing output in the form of language. You may be familiar with some of the more advanced forms of this. Recently the IBM Corporation produced a artificial intelligence which it named Watson that appeared on a television show, a game show called Jeopardy. And though it was developed to win that show, that contest in a competition against human beings, its ultimate purpose was to serve human beings in a much different way. It developed the ability to recognize human language in the form of questions and clues and to then sort through tremendous amounts of information in order to select out the most appropriate response required in the game environment in the form of a question. Well, it succeeded in doing so against the best of the human competitors in that contest. But it was then taken and had its memory erased and input instead of the world's encyclopedias and dictionaries and history records, medical information to be used in the setting of medical research since the Watson form of artificial intelligence would have the ability to pull out as no human or team of humans could do, all information pertaining to certain diseases, certain cell growth types, and certain sets of symptoms, it could perform this activity in a way that would assist the human researchers perhaps to find cures for diseases or more effective treatment for individuals. It will be employed in other ways, but what about it gaining consciousness? That's the topic of science fiction stories and movies so far, and also philosophical speculation. That perhaps indeed there would come a point where the material instrument 
the fancy computer, the artificial intelligence, perhaps in the form of a human, the android, that would manifest self-awareness and say, I am aware of what I am and I am entitled to anything any other self-aware conscious being is entitled to. What then do we do?